The final screen in our app is Checkout View, and it's really a tale of two halves. The first half is the basic user interface, which will provide little real challenge for you. But the second half is all new. We have to encode our order class, the JSON, send it over the internet, and get a response. We're going to look at the whole encoding and transferring chunk of work soon enough, but first let's tackle the easy part, giving Checkout View a user interface. More specifically, we're going to create a scroll view with an image, the total price of their order, and a place order button to kick off the networking. For the image, I provided two images in the files for this project. Look in the Swift UI slash Project 10 Files folder and copy both cupcakes at 2x.jpg and cupcakes at 3x.jpg into your asset catalog. We'll need to use Geometry Reader to size this picture to the correct width of the screen to avoid it stretching layouts on smaller devices. As for the order cost, we don't actually have any pricing for our cupcakes in our data, so we can just invent one. I mean, it's not like we're actually going to be charging people here. The pricing we're going to use is as follows. There'll be a basic cost of $2 per cupcake. We'll add a little to the cost for more complicated cakes. Extra frosting will cost $1 per cake. And adding sprinkles will be another 50 cents per cake. We can wrap all that logic up in a new computed property for order, like this. Var cost, double. Var cost equals double quantity times two, i.e. two bucks per cake. Then cost plus equals double type divided by two, making complicated cakes cost more. Then if extra frosting, cost plus equals double quantity, one buck per cake for extra frosting. And if add sprinkles, cost plus equals double quantity divided by two. That's 50 cents per cake for sprinkles. Finally, return the cost. The actual view itself is straightforward. We'll use a geometry reader to make sure our cupcake image is sized correctly. Then a VStack inside a vertical scroll view, then our image, the cost text, and button to place the order. We'll be filling in the button's action in a minute, but first let's get the basic layout done. Replace the existing body of checkout view with this. Geometry reader, geo in, Scroll view, vstack, image cupcakes, dot resizable, dot scale to fit, dot frame, width, geo dot size dot width. Text, your total is, dollar, self dot order dot cost, specifier, percent dot 2f, dot font dot title, button place order, then a comment, place the order, Add some padding. And finally, navigation bar title, checkout, display mode, dot in line. That should all be old news for you by now, but the tricky part comes next.